Today I'm going to show you how to export an image for the web using Photoshop. Let's get started. I am starting with a high resolution image of this cute dog that I found on unsplash.com. I want to put this image inside a website and use it as a website header graphic on a page. So why do I need to export my image from Photoshop first? It's very important to reduce your file size when uploading images to a website. That avoids long load times on web pages, which is a big problem on the internet, especially if you're using a slow internet connection. So to export this for the web, there's a couple things we need to check. I need to make sure that this image is 72 dots per inch or DPI, and I need to make sure this image is in RGB color format. That is the native color format for anything with a screen. So first, let's change the image size and make sure that it's 72 DPI. I'm going to go to image, image size, and I get a dialog box that pops up. On the right here, you'll see some information about this image. You'll see the width, the height, and the resolution. And these three numbers are linked. So if you change one of them, they are all going to change, and that's okay. So we want our image to be a resolution of 72 for the web. So I'm just going to type 72 in. We always want to make sure this option is not clicked, resample. Click OK. Next, let's check our color mode for this image. Go to image, mode, we wanted it to be RGB and it's actually already RGB. I downloaded this from a website and therefore a lot of images you get on the web will already be in RGB color format. So we are good to go. So now we just need to export it. Go to File, Export, Save for Web. You'll get a dialog box that pops up. And there's a couple important things we need to check in this dialog box. First, what file format do we want? Today, we are going to export a JPEG, but you may want a GIF or a PNG. You can change the file format here. The most important number you're looking for when you're exporting for web is this number on the bottom left, which is the file size. We want to have a very small file size for the web. And this file size is currently 1.472 megabytes, which is much too large for the web. Again, that reduces long load times on pages. So how can we reduce this number? There's two ways. We can actually change and reduce the image pixel size, which is right here. And then we can also adjust the image quality. So let's start with the image size. I mentioned that this is going to be in a header banner graphic on a website. Therefore, it's gonna need to span across the whole browser. This current image is 4,200 pixels wide. That is much too large for a website. We don't need an image that large. A website is typically going to be probably around 1500 to 2000 pixels wide on like a medium size screen. So I'm going to change this width number to 2000. My image size change. Let's look at our image file size over here. It's now about 2500 kilobytes, which is much better. This is now an image that I can upload to the web. But I do want to show you image quality too, because this is another way to reduce file size. Let's see if we can get this a little smaller. So the quality is currently at 60. So you can click on this and there's a little slider that pops up and you can play with the image quality on this slider. Let's have it go all the way pretty far down and let's see what that does to our image quality. I'm starting to see some pixelation in these blues. So that's a little bit too low, but you can see it reduced our file size significantly. We're now at 39 kilobytes. So let's just reduce this back up maybe to about 50. Okay, that background looks better. I don't see the pixelation, but I reduced our file size even more. It's now 158 kilobytes. So this image is ready to go on a website at that file size. So now I'm going to click save and I'm going to rename this dog web. So I know this image is ready for the web. So that's how you export an image and get it ready to go on the web. Be sure to subscribe to Cry Studio's channel for more tips and tricks in Adobe programs. Thank you so much.